So we are wasting some time driving around, taking in the scenery of beautiful Austin, Texas. Y'all, that's a lie. I'm gonna go to hell. Jesus, forgive me. Austin's straight up nasty, y'all. Do you agree? It, it is kind of gross down here. Eww. For real, y'all need to clean your city up, Austin. For real, y'all nasty. All right, guys, we made it here to, where are we at, the Hilton? Hotwire.com. Hotwire.com is the best. You don't know exactly where you're staying, but you put the star you want in in the area, and it picks the hotel. So you get like a four or five star hotel you can get for like anywhere from like 70 bucks for it. It's like $20 more than Motel 6. Uh, we need the computer for sure. Y'all, yeah. I'm not going to be able to release the video today, but y'all know that by now. I just can't do it. I'm sitting here like digging in your bag like we're in a storage unit. Did you see that? Oh, where are I you? like split the zipper. I was like peeking up in the bag hole. The bag hole? Oh, did you tell them what floor we're on? The 21st floor. Why is that not good? Huh? Why is oh, that not that's, good? I, I'm... No, for me. Oh, because you don't like height. Yeah, dang. Enjoy your stuff, you say. Get us trapped in here. Hey, just get us out of here. Government balloon Bobby. balloon room. What'd that say? <laughs> Government ballroom. <laughs> Yo, this ain't funny. <laughs> Yo, why is it doing that? It's acting like me. Yo, my ears just pop. Did your ears just pop? No, my ears didn't pop. Oh, jeez. Elevator door wouldn't even shut all the way. This is bull. Right. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Oh, this gives me the heebie jeebies. This is what you get. Oh, look, they put us in the little private room. You know what that means. This was really a broom closet and they put it on hot wire. Oh. Hi, guys. That's how you know no one's been in there since it's been cleaned. Uh, is this like the crappiest room they got? Oh, no, it's pretty nice. It's a nice room. Hey, guys, look at that. Oh, we got a water view. Heck yeah. What? Look, keep Austin weird. Y'all, this makes me so sick. I can't even, I got an inch up. Dang. All right, we got to work. We are here at the hotel. Look, we were going to do some work. I was going to make a video, but we're not going to. Me and Gina very rarely get a break. And so we're going to just actually order in Uber Eats. Yeah, Uber Eats. We're going to try something different. We're going to try a new restaurant here we've never tried before. And I think we're just going to watch a movie. We're going to hang out. We're going to chill. Got this cheap, nice hotel room. We got a lot of work to do in the morning. So, hey guys, we're going to order in. Maybe I'll pop back in and let you know what we ate. I ain't going to do any of them weird chewing videos, y'all. That's weird. Like, why would people want to 
Here are the people to do. I'm just rambling now. All right, guys, we are back. Back over here at Public Storage. Oh, Gina. So here's the deal. Look, we got the U-Haul. It's set up. So we've got a system in mind. What we're going to do is I'm going to take these carts and we're going to kind of load these up high, but we're going to unbox and actually separate here. So at the end of the day, what we're going to have on the truck, let me just take you out here and show you. Um, so what we're going to have on the end of the truck is going to be, uh, I don't like using the ramp, so we're going to load carts up, bring them up here. I'm going to stack these up high, and then Gina's just going to roll them back and set them. But what we're going to do is we're going to put trash on one side of the truck and sellables on the other. That way when we get back, we're literally going to pull up to the, um, the dump, and we know which half of the truck is trash, which half is sellables. That way we get back, and hopefully we'll have all this stuff listed by next Friday. Hey, look, it's my, my knight in shining armor. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save you. grab these two carts. Yeah, look at that. Two, two and one. Two and one. That's excellent. Hey, look. Oh, there you go. Hey, guys. Yo, that's why they put these up, because people like you. <laughs> All right, so I told them plan how we're doing trash. We're going to go ahead and separate here. Yes. All right, guys, so look, we're back to the unit. We have some extra boxes. Mm -hmm. We really didn't need a 26-foot truck. So guys, look, I'm just gonna literally start right here. You know what? I feel like this is a 10 by 30. I don't think it's 10 by 20. Do you? I do, because our 10 by 20 No, I'm don't telling you. Like no, babe, I'm telling you. Those people that we have a 10 by 15, they did not give us a 10 by 20. Yeah, We're but they're both stored, the public storage one and the security self storage are the same size. I agree. But so, hey, we'll debate that later. Yeah. But look, so Gina's getting me a little table out because I'm gonna set up a tripod and a table. And where are you going? To Starbucks. Yeah, get us some caffeine. So, all right, we got a system, we got a plan, let's execute. All right, guys, Gina's still gone, so look, I've already started working. So, this is all, well, these are trash. That's all trash. These are direct TV things. Um, not worth anything. But look, so what I'm doing, I put a pillow in here. I've got some stuff in here. So I'm packing nice and neat all the sellable items. Uh, same thing here, nice and neat. Look, these African bags. I found an African quilt down here. It's really thick. MP3 players. Look, the Fuji camera. Uh, this really nice uh, HD radio, the laptop, other things. So what I'm doing is we're going to put these in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write sellables. Boom, we're going to throw it on the cart, put that on the right side of the truck. What else did I show? Oh, y'all, y'all, check this out. <clears throat> so I found this. Y'all, for real, it looked real in the box. Look at that. It looks real. Gina has a huge, massive, gin ginormous fear of lizards. So I'm going to put this in my back pocket. And when she gets back, we'll see if we can get her with it. We're back. Uh, the back of our car, yeah. All right, I'll keep going through this. What? Dang, it didn't scare you. Well, I mean, I assumed you would have said something to me. I still don't want to touch it. It looked sure. real, didn't it? It did look real. Hi, guys. Hey, uh, Gina just took like a two-hour coffee trip. <laughs> I, did <not. laughs> I didn't even get myself coffee. I know it was, just it was bad, but hey, no, no, she was helping. So hey, look, I see this. I've gone through all of those boxes, uh, just because we're. I mean, look. I know we're in Austin, but we're not that far from home. <laughs> yeah. We're really not. Uh, so here's what I'm doing. That's all what I've deemed just kind of trashed. I'm not dealing with it. It looks like he was probably an attorney. And we've seen this before with the tapes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they record everything. They record everything and the receipts. So look, it looks like he had been storing his stuff here. So, But it's it's random. Because like I went through this. I keep... Here's this, this industry, y'all. It's a roller coaster. It's emotional freaking... I don't even got a word for it. It's just a roller coaster because like we got here i was excited and started going through some boxes and i was like ah oh, you know we'll still make money but it's not that great and then i started like going through these and i was like it's all receipts and tapes and then i got over here this was all in random boxes y'all so i've got to look this up i think he might have been an actor really mm -hmm. and look oh well look, look, let me show you what else i found i found a picture of him and bill clinton really that's mm -hmm. interesting it is interesting so look i did look i found all oh this is kind of neat so i'm finding a lot of african stuff and i'm uh -huh. keeping it because of where we are right now let me show you these cool little cute books uh, hey guys you want to see my cute books <laughs> So I'm finding a bunch of this. Oh, look down in here. I'll show you real quick. I'm finding all this new software 
Okay, look, I found a, uh, one of these things we just sold, but it's a, a Bearcat a police scanner. Uh, I'm finding a lot of... Uh, uh, he had a thing with... What's the word I'm looking for? Binoculars. Oh, binoculars? Yeah, binoculars. I found like six sets so far. Oh, oh those, no, they're, they're, no, they're in there. Oh, did they, they just fell out? out? Yeah, they just okay. fell out. Oh, wait, maybe the... I think that's them. Vivitar. Anyway, so I found all that. I found like a bunch of these. Uh, look, and I'm saying this. I'm not. Ta I don't take sides. I, I take Jesus' side. If we're being yeah, honest, any situation, I don't care if you look like me, smell like me, whatever. I'm not going to take your side because of that. I take the Lord's side. I told Jenny the other day. I said Jesus is the only sane thing I know anymore. I know. To be That's true. That's so true. Uh, are wacko. Whoa. But look, I'm going to keep these because I thought these would be cool for kids. Chocolate me nappy like, hair just to like teach kids about it you know and so honey i love i don't know what that's about but anyway so i kept all these books i thought these oh i think they're just neat cool graphics so anyway i thought that's just perfect timing for that so anyway mm -hmm. hey uh, oh let me show, finish showing you some of stuff all right so let me just kind of show you a little bit else of what i found i found this it's kind of it's really neat it's african hand painted there's oh, a little stamp great. down here i think there's a yeah look there's a stand for it Oh, cool. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I really like that. That might actually stay in my house. I've got this thing for like African art. I don't know why. I do too. It's just the bright colors and <laughs> yeah. To be honest, like just what I know of their culture. I, am. Uh -huh. I like different cultures. Americans are boring. We like to <laughs> eat and fight. That's what we like to do. Hey guys. All right. So I don't know a lot about this, but look, I found a bunch of this. Oh, look, it's all signed, 2008. But look, y'all look, here's my sandwich, my skabamage. Y'all wanna do a mukbang? I'm joking. You, you That's so nasty. You can't even say that. I was I about can. to say, why would you do that? Yo, I don't even know. Look, this is another signed and dated 98. It's limited seven times. Curse the darkness. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. Look at this. You ready to see it? Ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Since I joke between me and Gina. Yo. What? It's a Magic Johnson autograph, but it's cool because he's so like, cool. he's posted up against MJ. Like, that's a cool picture to have framed. So uh -huh. that will be in the high bid auction. All right, guys. So look, uh, here's another little art piece. It's got some info on the back, the signatures on the back. Uh, Strawberry Fields Central Park, New York. I kept that because it's. Oh. That's, it's, yeah. What? John Lennon. Yeah, it's got a little uh, signature right there. Don't know whose it is. Y'all, this is so cool. Actually, I am keeping this. This is going in our house. Who's that? I don't know. It is very cool. Dang, he just looks like a cool cat. He's got his hat on, you know? Uh -huh. And let's be honest, times was different for this dude back then. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And I, look, I'm not gonna, I don't agree with anything. My Look, I got no control over what other people do. People I don't even know, no, no, no. And then y'all want me to pay rep, not y'all. Idiots want me to pay for things that people may say. Like, y'all don't want to go down that road. If there's ever a reason to preach Jesus right now, you do not want to go down the road to where you start taking tit for tat because I promise you, eventually down the road, you're going to get slammed. That's the thing I think we all overlook is That's that... That's why we need forgiveness. We do need forgiveness. Everybody needs forgiveness. Like, guys, if we could just stop, there's nothing in this world. Where, here's one certain thing, one truth. We're all going to die. Mm -hmm. There's no denying that unless Jesus comes back, which he might. But anyway. Oh, no, he will come back. We just don't know. No, in that. our lifetime. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be honest. I still need to do that video. I think Jesus is coming back soon. All right, guys, real quick. Well, I've got Gina here because she's going to start rolling these out and lo uh, loading the light boxes. And people be like, oh, Justin, why aren't you loading the boxes? Well, I'm going to help her. I told her to put heavy ones aside, <laughs> y'all. But look. He's already taking books out of boxes, so I can Yeah, but them. yeah, I've been separating. But here's the deal what some of y'all don't know. Y'all, this morning. I've been treated like I have the plague. We are a holy order, an ancient brotherhood of lepers. <laughs> unclean, unclean. I know. Here's the deal. I called my doctor this morning. I'm going to do what they said. But they said I'm beyond the time of worry. I said, are you sure I don't need to come in and get on some hydroxychloroquine or something? Because <laughs> I would. Um, 
Or a Z-Pack. Or a Z-Pack <laughs> or something. They said no. And I told them when my sy symptoms stopped, I told them everything. They said, you're good. So here's the deal. If you've been around me, here's the good news. Here's the deal. I don't know. I didn't get it from you. Why everybody act like I just invented Corona? Alive. <laughs> it's alive. I know. For real. This morning, like everybody just invented Rona. Everybody go attack him. Y'all are fools. How do you know I didn't get it from you? I found a bunch of these. These are signed. I thought these were kind of cool. Ooh, that's very cool. Yeah. I, like I don't that. know what these are on the back. Hmm. But look, here's another one. Kind of cool. I hope that's I hope they're married. I don't like that. Is that promoting like workplace like adultery? Oh, I don't know. I, I can't really see Look at the way she's looking at him. Oh, I can't see. He's standing by his desk. <gasps> Yo. I just noticed that. That mm -hmm. was an observation. What? Do you, would you agree like how out of all the people you know, where do I lie at the most observant? You're very observant. Why is his hand in his pocket like that? See the way she's looking at him? First of all, if he's being real, she's got like six hairs. There's something wrong with her. I don't even know why he's got his hand in his pocket. He's gonna, have, well, he ain't even got no hair. He probably got, I don't know, maybe they're spreading Rona, but that's inappropriate. I get what's going on here, okay? Okay, look, it's a story. Y'all, y'all want to know a story? Yeah, I want to know a story. When me and Gina were, uh, when we were married, we're still married. Uh, even with my ex-wife, I, I don't go to lunch with other women. I don't, I don't, I just don't. I don't do so. I don't ride in the car with women. I don't hang out with women by myself. I don't. All my attention goes to my wife, and I'll tell you why. I believe that 99% of people don't wake up and say, I'm going to go cheat on my spouse. It's a, it's a series of small events where people say, ah, oh, not a big deal, not a big deal. I just it ain't a big deal if you got to lunch with her until we start making it a habit. And until me and Gina get in a fight, which we don't, but if we did and the elements align right, and then I'm pouring my feet, you know what I'm saying? You see where I'm going. It's it's a, it's it's arrogance where people just crack that door. Think about a door. You crack a door, it's easy to get open. You never open that door, it can't come open. And my marriage is the most important thing in my life to me. And so I just don't do it. But anyway, so on to that rant. Look, it's a storyline. This is what happens. What happens when you get too close with your boss? Start flirting. He's got his hand in your pocket. Next thing you know, you're laying on the beach, right? No, actually, no, not that. You just you, you sneak off to the park, right? It's close by. You know, you can get away with it. Next thing you know, you know, you and your wife, you ain't paying attention to your wife no more. You're giving her all this, and she's sweet, man. She's she's telling you everything you want to hear. Oh my God, I can't believe your wife's that bad. And then you end up on the beach. So you look feeding you grapes. If they were to continue this story, this is completely... Actually, there is a lesson in this rant. Mm -hmm. but the last picture should be kids crying, a wife standing there, or maybe she's the married one. We don't know. Yeah. Why are we always so quick to blame the dude? You know what I mean? So the last picture should be like a broken family. Let's don't do that. Be safe. Protect your marriage and your heart. I just found a box of records. And y'all, when I tell you they're in phenomenal condition, they're in phenomenal condition. They are. <laughs> y'all, but look, Bobby Brown... Salt and pepper push it, y'all. We just found salt and pepper push it. The record. Look, y'all. I'll be sure. Look, James Brown. Y'all. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. Cool Mo D. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Hold on, there's one more I wanted to show y'all. Which one was it? Spike Lee. I'll be sure. Eddie Murphy. Y'all look at this. Oh, there's two of those. Oh, awesome. So, guys, check it out. Earth, Wind, and Fire. There's, like, everything in here from, like, basically the 80s. And I'm hoping I find more because, like, for real, other than a few of them where this one chick wrote her name on them. Yeah, there's first some, we thought it was. Yeah, there's some great 80s hip-hop in here, and I know somebody's going to be excited about that. I've gone through I've gone through every box on this side uh, there's a lot of stuff I set up there just because we got a system going but look I found a big box full of brand new Linux it's still got the tags on the plates but there's got to be at least I don't know maybe 60 pieces but look just these small dinner plate or not even dinner plates what do you call it salad plate yeah uh, it's $35 a piece and look we got the little ones so there's a whole brand new set of Linux back here oh I also got to you want to show them those knives real quick sure I already packed oh yeah I've got it on my phone hold on okay 
So I found these steak knives, guys, in this box right here. Because this stuff's so well wrapped, I didn't want to uh, undo it. So I did look these up, y'all. This is a sold listing. <clears throat> there was two of these on top. Just sitting right on top. There's actually three. One's a different kind. It's the same kind, but a different one. But we yep. have two of these sets. Um, so okay. that's sold for $300. There's not a lot, so they're rare too. But they got little honeybees on them. But so anyway, um, that's 600 bucks right there. Plus that other one is probably, I don't know, maybe 150 so I'll, I'll almost say like and if there's a few more in there we might have a grand in knives yeah so that's what i'm saying guys you can't just go into a unit like with like oh i want to find cards or i want to find coins or jewelry. yeah you want to find that stuff but you gotta like but there's so many other yeah there's things. so many things out there that are sellable that you can make money on and that's what i'm doing so anyway i'm super excited i guarantee you between the knives and the linux and i bet you because of what nice stuff was in here i bet you that covers a grand of this unit do you think i think so i bet it does all right, guys, so check it out. Dude, we have ripped through this thing. So we've stuck to our system, but now it's like getting late in the day. And we're tired. Yo. But here's the thing. We aren't just been loading this. We, I've gone through every box. We've separated trash to it's sellables. Old. So basically, that's what one half the truck is. But it's what, two? It's 2.30. 2.30. We still got a three-hour drive back at least in the U-Haul. So uh, that's all empty back there. We already know what's in this. We haven't been through these boxes over here. I am going to show you a few things that I just found real quick. Golly, man. I knew that was going to happen, too. I knew. I'm so sorry. Dang. You need tape on it. We did. Don't ever fold your boxes for trash boxes. Especially big, fat knew it was ones happen. like that. Yeah, that's what she says. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So here, here's a few things I found so far. Just kind of digging through. I really like this. I know. I think that's really neat. It says return for refund. And it's got this cool little wood stand. It looks like it might have said Coke right there at one point. But look, it's still got this nice wood little pedestal. So look, I'm fine. I didn't unwrap this. Actually, this box is right here. All of this stuff, I started unwrapping it. Let me show you. There's still a lot of this. This is actually kind of neat. I unwrapped that. It's got yeah, like FedEx, really Walmart, neat. Albertsons. Look, that's just, oh, look, the trucks go around. It's got Coors Light. The oh, trucks drive in oh, circle. Yeah. So there's like an Albertsons truck, a GM truck. So that's pretty cool. So there's that. Sankey. Thank you. Okay, so there's this. Okay, this is solid stone, solid mm -hmm. stone piece. Uh, same thing, another solid stone piece. Uh, what else did we find? Oh, just random jewelry, sterling jewelry. Uh, this was just a box of books, y'all. Uh, what else did we find? Oh, this was really pretty. Yeah. This is really cool. It's wood. It's got like some kind of brass inlay. It's got real hair up here, probably horse hair, something like that. Uh, y'all, I don't even know what this is. Yeah. This is disgusting, is what it is. Y'all. Does anybody know? What, what do you that think that is? is? Oh, I can't. It I says. Can get the focus. Obliques? You work out your obliques? It's <laughs> killer for your obliques. Eh, Changa mushroom. Yeah. Somebody super chats me a million bucks. I'll down this Changa That's mushroom. Right. It's going to take a million. All right, guys, another thing I didn't show you. We found a bunch of boxes of more records. Uh, so that was cool. I found this thing was in a box of books. This looks like coral. This stuff yeah, right here looks like look. coral. Um, so there's and like all these African like big African like that's heavy uh -huh. stones and wood. So we might have a lot of nice African jewelry going on. Um, so anyway, there's that. We have found a lot more stuff, guys, that we didn't unbox, but for real, because it's me and her, um, and everybody and their mom's freaking out that I had the Rona like freaking eight months ago. So anyway, it is what it is. But hey, me and Gina about to kick the rest of this thing's yeah, butt we then we're gonna get home and then me and Gina are gonna set up an auction when we get home all right guys um, it's like 4 30 it is 4 30 we are about done there's the truck over there it's packed 